In today's video, I'll give you the introduction of WISP and how you can use it to find the information that you need. WISP is software Mercedes. It is abbreviated as Workshop Information System. The software contains everything that you need to even run a Mercedes dealer service center. Therefore, all the information that you need is also in there. You will find things such as wiring diagrams, repair instructions, component functions, like how the turbo or the high pressure fuel pump works, troubleshooting, tool information, and much more. To begin, I'll show you how to find a vehicle that you need to get access to its information. Up here, on the first row, you can see the fill in blank next to vehicle identification number. You put your vehicle model in here, it's not a VIN number. For example, I have a 2016 Mercedes E200, or for technicians, it is W212. So, what I put in there will be 212034. And 212034 is the internal identification number used within Mercedes system. You can get this number on a website called lastvin.com. Once you enter the internal Mercedes number, you will see the information of your vehicle pops up right below it. In this case, we can see relevant information as car 212034, E200, limousine 274. 920 and 274ZD engine of this model. Further down is where you can choose the component groups on the left hand side, which has all the systems of the particular car that you input. On the right hand side is the information types. This is where you can find things like repair manual, system function, circuit diagram, etc. So, what you need to do is to first choose the component group on the left and then choose the information that you need in the work. For example, I want to find a white green diagram of the ECM. What I would do is to choose group 5 and 7 on the left and circuit diagram on the right. Click star search. All relevant documents will show up. Then you can choose the piece of information that you want to look for them to. For example, white green diagram, electrical function schematic for different systems, the electrical function schematic is very helpful in many ways. It utilizes the block diagram of a reading wiring diagram, but in a much more comprehensive way. It will show you what components involved in the system and how they interact with each other. What we are looking at on the screen is a key schematic diagram of a ignition system. You can see all the components working for the system on the left and this annotation on the right. From here, you can also get access to the wiring diagram of the system by clicking here. This is the diagram of the engine module, signified as N3 slash 10, which has two pages. If you don't see the components you're looking for, chances are they are on the second page. Click here to see the second page. This is one way you can find the wiring diagram of a certain modules. You can also find this diagram directly in the document section. This is the same diagram that we just see. Double click to open it. Expand this folder to host screen by clicking here. Choose the first dynamic link on the right to access the diagram. This is the layout of our diagram. On the first section, you can see an F letter here, which indicates the F connector on our ECM. On the second page of this diagram, which I already showed you how to find, is indicated as the M connector. Now, I'll show you how to read this diagram. You can see a series of small number here, these are the according number also written on the ECM connectors. Right above them is where you can see the explanations, which have the annotation on the right. You will also see all the symbols prefixed as W, 
z n which also have their annotation on the right you can see w16 slash 5 is the lab assembly ground part typically for mercedes diagram annotations we have w as ground n as module z as connector b as sensors etc for instance this z7 slash 36 is the circuit 87 connector sleeve the circuit 87 is the power supply name 87 we also have circuit 30 circuit 50 and four types of circuit 15 back to the diagram if you want to find the location of dz w and or whatever it has the blue dynamic link you just need to click on them it will show you where they are on a vehicle as you can see this is the location page of all the z connector sleeve now you just need to search for z7 slash 36 here you have many different models of engine which has the m prefix you might wonder why the way that mercedes does for this software is that they include any vehicles on every single information page so they don't have to write different contents for each individual page you just have to choose the one that fits your vehicle models engine for instance in this case my vehicle has the 274 engine so i'll choose the m274 they will give you the exact location of the connector as you can see on the screen going back to how to read our diagram one thing you will have to pay attention to is when you see the dotted rectangle you can see it is noted as u62 the explanation of this is also on the right as you can see u62 is only valid for formatic so if your vehicle is equipped with formatic this page diagram will be applied and otherwise it's not applicable another thing you will see is the arrow we will have upward, downward, and bidirectional arrows. The direction of the arrows are also the directions of the signal or power. The bidirectional arrow is for CAN network, as CAN can go both ways. Another thing you might not understand are different symbols right above the pin number. For example, we have this pin 57, which is noted as REG. I'll show you where to find this annotation. Click this back arrow to go back to our documentation list. You will see abbreviation of signal and circuit designation. This is the explanation sheet that we are looking for. You can scroll up and down to find it or search for it using the binocular here. Here you can see the designation of REG, which is purge valve. It is similar to the EVAP on Asian cars. So that's how you can find explanations for those abbreviations. On the diagram, frequent abbreviations that you always see are 30, 31, and 87. Let's find out what they are. You need to go back to our documentation list. And again, choose abbreviation of signal. Scroll down. You can see 30 is battery voltage positive, which is our power. And 31 is return light to battery, which is ground. Let's find 87. You can see 87 is the input of circuit 87. If you are a Mercedes technician, or you work on Mercedes on a daily basis, up to this point, you should know what circuit 87, circuit 30, and circuit 31 are. So that's it for this video. This is how you can get access to wiring diagram of a certain modules on WIS. In the next video, I'll show you how to find the system functions, repair instructions, and tool information. Thanks for sticking around.